Hi guys, Fergus Sharkey, who's probably best known for his music from the 1980s and his recent environmental activism, delivered a beautiful short speech on Have I Got News For You on Friday night. During a moment of such darkness in the Middle East at the moment, perhaps Northern Ireland, which Fergal is a native of, can be seen as an example of what can be achieved. The Troubles was a conflict not just based on religion but on tribalism. It was a long bloody period but bitter enemies eventually sat down and made peace. They say the darkest hour is just before the dawn. I hope Fergal is right here. Have a listen. 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. For 25 years, the people of Northern Ireland have been able to prosper and grow and blossom and have discovered that this thing, peace, is a very delicate, beautiful little flower that needs nurturing, caressing and supporting. I do wish that the people of Gaza and Palestine and Israel get to discover what 25 years of peace, prosperity and diplomacy and democracy looks like and that those people can blossom into a much more confident, much brighter future for everyone involved. Is it both for Northern Ireland? Well, they were spoken. Well, so well spoken. And if we look at what happened in Northern Ireland, you had bitter enemies eventually sit down and make peace. I think it was Martin McGuinness said, you make peace with your enemies, not with your friends. And it took a massive amount of courage on both sides. And we, we have to include the other partners here, the Irish government, the British government, the European Union, the, um, the United States, who helped nurture that flower. It was difficult to get it to grow in the first place. There were many people who didn't want peace who wanted to continue war on both sides. Um, we can make some parallels with what's happening in the Middle East at the moment. People's rights not being protected. An issue over land, over territory, over religion. But what happened was the people of Northern Ireland maintained that peace. Once they felt it, once they discovered we can have a new society, we can live in peace with each other, we can prosper, we can put the bad old days behind us. It required a lot of forgiveness, it required reconciliation, uh, it, was not, it was not perfect, it's still not perfect today, the Good Friday Agreement, but it, it showed that both communities could come together and see past their differences. We can only hope that that's possible also in the Middle East with between Israelis and Palestinians, that they can see past their differences. Of course, there are groups within both, on both sides who want to achieve peace, and they're being undermined by the extremists. As I said at the beginning, the, the, darkest, the darkest hour is before the dawn, and we hope that this perhaps is the darkest hour and that there will be a dawn, that both sides can come together and they can live in peace. And see, as Fergal has pointed out here, the beauty of peace. It's not something just a metaphor, it's something real. The people of Northern Ireland have demonstrated that. Even though there are some who are trying to undermine it, it seems the majority want to maintain that. So the best of luck, we can, also, we can only hope for the people of uh, the Middle East at the moment. It's very difficult at this period, but we can only hope that things will improve. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.